Running down there is a stream of Banyas, which is one of the three main sources of the Jordan River. This is the most water you'll ever see in this river because of the rain we had last night. The Jordan River originates north of Israel on the Lebanese-Syrian border, then flows southward into the Sea of Galilee. I'm just sharing with everybody that uh, I do this boat ride quite a lot, and today if you look around you and take it in, there's something very special. There's a sense of quietness and peaceful. There's shalom. Shalom is upon us. South of the sea, the river divides Israel and Jordan before emptying into the Dead Sea. There are two traditional baptism sites near the Dead Sea, one in Jordan and one in a part of the West Bank under full Israeli military occupation. The Israeli-run site is known as Qasr al-Yahud. In 2018, CBS News descended upon Qasr al-Yahud for an expose about the landmines near the site left over from prior Mideast conflicts, and the project underway to unearth and dispose of them. Still, landmines and all, people come in droves, thinking Qasr al-Yahud a sacred site, which is interesting in light of the United Nations weighing in with a different opinion. In 2015, UNESCO officially declared al-Mahtas a World Heritage Site, believing it, Jordan's baptism site, to be where John the Baptist would have baptized Jesus. Al-Mahtas, which is baptism or immersion in Arabic, is also known as Bethany beyond the Jordan, which will sound familiar to people who've read the Apostle John's Gospel. Now, unfortunately, if you're health conscious, it doesn't matter from which country you enter the Jordan River if you're this far south. Gidon Bromberg, director of the Israeli chapter of Ecopeace, says, The water quality here is a mixture of untreated and partly treated sewage, agricultural runoff, fish pond waste, and saline waters from springs to reduce the salinity of the Sea of Galilee. Ecopeace has efforts underway to improve this, but in the meantime, people are flocking to a third site, much further north, the Yardinit baptismal site, where the waters seem cleaner. The Israeli Ministry of Tourism established Yardinit in 1981. In March of 2017, I was baptized there. And then in January of 2018, I went back for the privilege of baptizing family and friends and, as it turned out, several strangers from around the world. So, while we don't know exactly where the dove came down in bodily form as a sign to Jesus, John, and all the witnesses that day, we do know it was somewhere along this river that God, through Jesus, chose to submit himself to a baptism of repentance, even though he had nothing from which to repent. Jesus told John the Baptist it was fitting to fulfill all righteousness, which is a mystery we'll attempt to unravel as we continue through the Gospels. But for now, don't miss the symbolism of submersion equaling a burial and surfacing equaling a new beginning. Jesus chose, with what one author termed the last act of his private life, to identify with his children, who even now very publicly declare, through their own baptisms, their identity in Christ. Seven.